Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, the U.S. Director of the Apostleship of Prayer, and I'm sure that you, like me, have certain saints that are your favorites. Many of my favorites are Jesuits because that's the religious order to which I belong. But we're celebrating one of my favorites today, and he's a Franciscan named Saint Bonaventure, a name which means good fortune. He lived in the 13th century, shortly after the founder of the Franciscans, Saint Francis himself, and I guess the reason I like him is because his writings show a deep devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, something that the Apostleship of Prayer promotes. Here, let me share with you something he once wrote in a work called The Mystical Vine. When once we have come to this heart of our Lord, we shall not be easily drawn away from it, since it is good for us to abide in it. I have found the heart of Jesus, my King, my brother, my friend, my good Jesus, and this heart is mine. Who will not cherish this heart so wounded for us? Who will not love one so loving? As for us who are still dwelling in the flesh, let us do all we can to make a return of love to him who has loved us. And let us pray that the heart of Christ may wound our heart still so hard and bind it with the bonds of his love. What I like about those words is how they remind us that the heart of Jesus pierced on the cross is the greatest sign of God's love. This heart is actually given to us in Holy Communion, where Jesus is present, body and blood, soul and divinity, and where the words of the prophet Ezekiel are fulfilled, I will give you a new heart, taking from your bodies your stony hearts. <laughs>